Hey, what's up, homies? Jason coming at you again. Another. Uh, it's actually gonna be something different today. I'm doing a, uh, a new series of movies called recommendations, or uh, movies that that were recommended to me uh, that I watched, and you know I'm gonna tell you guys what I think. And um, I'm gonna put this video up on YouTube and Fans of Horror. And those of you on YouTube, uh, you know, you know you probably haven't seen any videos from me in a while, and a few folks are kind of asking, you know, what's up, so I'm just going to, uh, most of my videos are going up on the Fans of Horror site, and if you haven't heard of Fans of Horror, I'm going to put the link over there, or over there, whatever direction it is, and uh, so you guys can go check that out. If you're a, if you're a horror fan, you may want to go check that site out, you may enjoy it, it's a social networking site, it's a pretty cool place. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's where all my videos are going lately, and uh, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a video up every, you know, you know, a couple of videos a month, just so, you know, you guys will know I'm still alive, I guess. <laughs> but today, uh, I'm talking about Eden Lake. And this was recommended to me uh, from Ricky Shore, or Alex and Marissa. And Alex had said that he really liked this film, and he mentioned it in his video. He did a review of Ills, or Them. The uh, I think it's pronounced Ills. It's it's a French film. Uh, a lot of you guys have probably seen it. I'm not going to give away the the uh, you know the twist ending at the end, but he was saying that this film is similar, and you know that's why I really wanted to check it out. And I couldn't find it. You know I looked everywhere, and I eventually just had to go on eBay and and make a purchase because I think it's out of print. I'm not sure, but it's it's kind of hard to find. I got it for like ten bucks. Checked it out. Uh, I really enjoyed it for what it is. I thought uh, camera work is really good. The, it looks really, really good. It almost looks like it's HD, even though it's not. It just, uh, you know, I don't know what kind of cameras they used or whatever, but it looks really good. Um, lighting is really good. Uh, but, uh, no, it's kind of like a uh, revenge type film. It's kind of like a revenge film on both sides. So, you know, Ills is really more of a suspense movie to me, more of like a thriller suspense. And this is just more of a revenge film. A little bit of suspense in there, but um, I really, I mean, I like both films, but I don't really think that they're, they're all that similar other than the, the main uh, factor that I, that I don't want to give away. I don't want to spoil either of the movies for you, but this uh, movie starts out with... Uh, this couple, uh, boyfriend and girlfriend, they're out going to this lake, and they're gonna, uh, you know, they're camping out, just hanging out, having a weekend or whatever. And there's these kids there, and these kids are kind of being little brats, and you know, playing the music real loud, and all the stereotypical bullshit that young punk kids, kids like uh, young teenagers, probably the oldest one being maybe 11 or 12, and the or the youngest one maybe being 11 or 12, the oldest one being around, you know, 15. 15 years old, something like that. But anyway, you know, they, they they exchange words a few times, and the kids eventually steal the guy's uh, Jeep, and they drive it around, and, you know, the guy goes and tracks them down in the woods, and they have a confrontation. You know, all these kids kind of gang up, and you think it's about to be a fight, and the, uh, the lead guy, the lead, you know, the leader of this little kid gang, he has a dog, a Rottweiler. And, you know, the dog's about to bite this guy, so the guy is forced to kill the dog. And, uh, you know, that really pisses the kid off. Apparently he loved the dog a lot or whatever, so he just he just goes apeshit bananas. And, uh, you know, if, if it had been me in that situation, I would have beat the dog shit out of all those kids and not even blinked an eye. These little fucking pricks, I'm telling you. I, I would not have, I, I'd sleep, I'd go home and I'd sleep soundly. I would beat the shit out of these kids if they did that to me, but that's just me. But anyway, these little kids, they, uh, it's mainly the leader who kind of coaxes all the other kids into doing things, and then it's eventually just a, a chase film. They uh, they run, and then uh, you know they, they run from the kids, the kids chase them. And, you know, from then on there, it's just basically a... a them trying to escape the kids, and I'm, it's, it's not really a detailed plot, so I'm just going to stop there, um, but I did really enjoy the film, uh, it looked really good, I thought all the actors did a really good job, lead actress, uh, her name is Kelly Riley, 
And I looked her up. She's done a few other horror films. I'm not familiar with the work, but um, I believe this is a British film. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I believe it's a British film. Um, I really enjoyed it. I definitely say check it out. And thanks to Alex and Marissa for all the cool recommendations. I know our, our tastes are not all that similar, but you know, sometimes we click. Um, but you guys are awesome. Uh, What's up to everybody on YouTube? I hope everyone is having a good day. Uh, hope everyone has a very Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.